All right, so I want y'all to watch this video very closely, all right? Watch this, very, watch this video very closely, all right? I usually don't post stuff like this, all right? But I'm going to, all right? We just had yesterday an internet shutdown. There was like for hours, there was no Instagram, no Facebook. The only apps that was working was Snapchat and Twitter. So this just goes to show that it is so simple and so easy for the government just to shut off anything in a matter of seconds. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Doesn't to exist. Well, you can't eat. You can't buy food. Done. You can't use transportation. You can't rent an apartment. They can literally destroy your life in a second. This is happening today in China. Social credit score system rank its citizens based on their online behavior. The state will go over every detail of a person's life with a fine tooth comb. A financial situation, spending habits, career, even behavior on social media. People who have a negative credit score on that system are denied access to public transportation. They're denied access to airlines, they're denied access to trains, they're denied access to jobs in the government, they're denied access to apartments to rent. They're doing that today. Now, today, those people have cash to go back on. What happens when there's no cash? This very misguided idea that if you eradicate cash, you'll eradicate crime, which of course you won't because people will substitute cash for something else. And also, if you, if the only people who are allowed to be intermediaries are the large corporations, they will commit the crime. It's like if you want to rob a bank nowadays, the best way to do so is to have a banking license. Then you can rob the entire bank and or country with complete immunity. If you rob one person and steal 20 pounds from them, you're going to jail and you're going to spend a long time there. If you rob 2 million people of their 